Well, five years ago, there was a 25 year old Central Texas man. He was the first to be filmed shooting the words the world's first fully 3D printed gun and announced today, though it may soon be legal to post plans for 3D printable guns online. Fox 44's Renee Semerau joins us live now from the control room. Now, Renee, what are people most concerned about here? Yeah, that's right, Robert and Leslie. After years of pushing for gun rights of all kinds, this month the government agreed to have this gun right advocate by the name of Cody Wilson. They're allowing him to expose these blueprints so that essentially people can make these printable guns from home, and it's all starting on August 1st. Now, and back in 2013, Wilson posted plans for 3D printable guns. The government ordered him to remove it, arguing that the plans could violate international arms traffic violations or regulations rather. Wilson complied, but he sued the federal government in 2015. Now, Wilson will be able to repost schematics for what he calls the Liberator. It's a gun made almost entirely out of ABS plastic, the same material used as Lego bricks. Now, the settlement accepts um, exempts Wilson and his organization from export regulations or restrictions and pays a portion of his legal fees. Now, according to the publication Wired, later this month, he and the nonprofit he founded are relaunching their website as a respiratory of uh, firearm blueprints where you will find everything from the original shot 3D uh, printable po uh, pistol that he fired back in 2013 to an AR-15 frame and more exotic DIY semi-automatic weapons. So now on Wednesday, the secretary of uh, the, the state secretary, rather secretary of the state, excuse me, Mike Pompeo, he's going to go ahead and review these 3D gun schematics, because as you can imagine, there is a lot of pushback knowing that you can potentially make 3D guns from home. Now tonight, coming up at nine o'clock, we're going to learn more about the man behind all of these blueprints. Live in the control room, Renee Summer Hour, Fox 44 News.